It's a set of five traditional Nepalese musical instruments that are played during holy ceremonies, especially marriages. Panche vazas are usually played by the Gandharva. These are cars in the Hindu tradition. The first part of the term is also transliterated Panche or Panche as well. The later also as Baza. Panche Baza comprises Sanai, a folk obi, another one Jali, that means the cymbals, tempo, small kettle drum, damaha, the large kettle drum, and dholaki. Nepal or Ireland beach Dautya Samandha Isthapana ko atharam barsa pravesh ko abusarama ayujit Nepal, Ireland, Dema, Upasthit, Sampurna Sraddeya, Adaraniya Bhaktitu Haru, Rab, Sampurna Upasthit Mahanubhav Haru Prati, Ma Mukunda Bhusal Hardik Namaskar Gana Chanchu. Eti Bela Mosanga, Bharkharai Baje ko Panche Baza ma Sammilit Hunu Bhaya ka Baddhya Baadhan ma Sambhakna Bhaktitu Haru ko Nama Vali Shah, Madhav Gaire, Jiliram Gaire, Khim Lal Gaire, Ser Bahadur Roka, Gagan Bika, Khim Chetri, Khum Bahadur Chetri, Dev Kesi, Gokan Raj Kharka, Edya Murthy Thakal. Thank you. A very warm welcome in Nepali. And uh, so I will just give you a very warm Kate Neil of Walter uh, to today from, from Ireland. So as we begin our day, just to let you know that activities and events will continue here until five o'clock. There will be a mixture of song and dance, a cultural program from both Nepal and Ireland here on this main stage. Then in the Cowshed Theatre, over to your right, you'll find a photographic exhibition from Nepal and stands of NGOs and handicraft stands. Um, as you pass through the courtyard, there's also an opportunity to see films about Nepali tourism and pick up more information if you're interested in travelling to the most beautiful country apart from Ireland in the world. Um, so I'd just like to invite some of our uh, visiting guests to come and sit here on this stage. So I'd invite Deepesh Mansakya, President of the Nepal Ireland Society, and the Nepal Tourism Board Honorary Public Relations Representative to the stand. I'd like to invite Mr. Sharad Raj Alan, the Charity de Fair and Acting Ambassador. We welcome you to Ireland. This is your new position. You're very to invite Colonel Mr. Pradeep Joan Casey, the military attaché to the Embassy of Nepal. And now we'd like to invite our chief guest, Dublin Lord Mayor, Mr. Brendan Carr, to come. to Nepal, Mr. Joe Costello, former Minister of State for Trade and Development. Dublin Lord Mayor and former member of the European Parliament. I'm not sure if Senator Ivana Bacic was able to manage to be here with us. Not sure. Okay. Um, I'd like to invite Mr. Brian O'Brien. Thank you. Deputy Director of the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, the Asia Pacific Unit. I'd like to invite Mr. Gangaram Kandel, General Secretary of the Nepal Ireland Society, to come and join us. Thank you. Kafle, um, the non-resident Nepali Association Ireland President. And Mr. Kul Acharya, the European uh, Regional Coordinator of the non-resident Nepali Association. Very so now I'd like to invite everybody to, to stand, if you're able to, for the and national anthem of Nepal, followed by the national anthem of Ireland. Thank you.
A Jack Farmley in you. Lord Mayor, representatives of the Embassy of Nepal, Mr. Sharad Raj Aran and Colonel Pradeep June. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It is an honour for us to host this celebration of Nepal Ireland Day at Farmley House today. Today's celebration will be a joint one with Nepali and Irish musicians and dancers sharing the stage to entertain you and to promote a closer cultural relationship between our two countries. On a more personal note, as someone who was brought up in rural Ireland during the 1940s, over the years when visiting Nepal, I have been struck by the many similarities between the emerging and energetic rural development of the hill farmers of the Solokumbu region, for that is where INET, the Irish Nepalese Educational Trust, mainly works, and what happened in Ireland during the surge of modernity that occurred in the 1960s. Now in the villages there are solar panels, electricity, mobile phones, and the farmers have moved from subsistence farming to cash crops. I have also watched with interest the modernising of Kathmandu and notwithstanding the terrible devastation of last year's earthquake and other difficulties, I have no doubt that the city, peopled as it is by enterprising and hard-working citizens, will recover to thrive into the future. These are exciting times for Nepal. And now, as part of today's entertainment, I would urge you all to go and view the photographic exhibition on display in the Cowshed Theatre. The exhibition contains photographs that were mainly taken in the last year by Irish people who were visiting Nepal following the earthquake. In these striking images, you will be able to see for yourselves the overwhelming beauty of the relatively unspoiled mountainous regions of Nepal. These images are more personalised than is usual in such displays. Look out for the small vignettes of the photographers in the corners of their photographs. And so, let me encourage any of you who have not visited that very special country to visit as soon as you can, for the times they are changing. So, let us spend some time today in celebration of the culture and richness of our two countries. Shlon of Spanish live Goler Accordia. Thank you and um, blessings all my friends. Lord Mayor Brendan Gar, Acting now Mr. Embassy of Nepal, Sarunath Aryan, Colonel Pradeep Jong Keshi, Joe Castillo, Imur Castillo, Senator Ivan Basic, Deputy Director Brian and O'Brien, Yanar and European Original Coordinator Kula Charity, and all ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome to all the this historical Nepal Ireland Day event and family a day of celebration the my friendship between Nepal and Ireland. It is a heartwarming to be a part of today even. In compared to 1992 when I came to Ireland for the first time, we have made the tremendous progress and I feel very proud and privileged. So thank you very much and all of you once again. Hami Nepali Haru Nepal Kalagi Bhande Naraka Sat. Hami Hale Yaha. Nepal Day Manavadi Ayer Hai Kaa Dhu Pahila Pani Pra Aya Pali Hami Aru Nepal Ireland Day Bhandari Manavna Gai Rekha Chau Tis Ka Nipti Hami Nepal Yaru Nepal Ka Naam Bhandari Naraara Udgas Ka Saath 
सम्मिलित होना उन्होंने संपूर्ण नेपाली दाजवे तथा दिल्ली हिंदू लाई मार्ज के तरफ बाटा हार्दिक धन्यवाद स्वागत करने जांच हूँ थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स वन सेकंड एवरीबॉडी to invite Mr. Deepesh Manchakya, President of the Nepal Ireland Society. Um. Uh, thanks, Emma. Uh, so, respected Dublin Lord Mayor, um, our acting ambassador, Mr. Ras Aran, Colin Pradeep Jang Kesi, Emma Costello, Joe Costello, uh, Deputy Director Brian, uh, Kula Charchiji, and all uh, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to welcome you everybody here in this historic uh, Nepal Ireland Day. And first and foremost, yesterday was a bit uh, scary day, actually. It was running from the very morning, and it continued till in the evening. So I was quite afraid that it would be the same today. So we have a son, and I'm a very happy man, to be honest. Thanks again for the son. Uh, so, Nepal Day, as Jeevan just mentioned, we have been organizing Nepal Day since 2013. 2013, 14, and we had a short version of the Nepal Day in 2015. And in 2016, we changed the name from Nepal Day to Nepal Ireland Day. It is basically to celebrate the friendship between Nepal and Ireland, uh, so which has been growing in a rapid pace. And it is also the 17 years completion of the diplomatic relationship between Nepal and Ireland. So welcome to you all in this Nepal Ireland Day. Uh, so just to give you a quick background of why we are doing this, uh, what, what have been going on. So the first and foremost is basically to strengthen the relationship between Nepal and Ireland at all levels, people level, government level, and all levels. And the second thing is we would like to promote Nepalese tourism in Ireland. That's why we have a photo exhibition there in the cow shed, and we have photo shows, the videos running in the motor house just beside the courtyard. So hopefully, we are hoping that like many and a lot of many Irish tourists will visit Nepal this year and many more coming years in future. Uh, to give you a quick fact, from Ireland we had four people climbing Mount Everest after the earthquake, and many hundreds of Irish visited. Uh, Nepal after the earthquake. So it is completely safe to visit Nepal. So everybody who is here, if you are planning to make a holiday trip, please make it Nepal. That's the, that's the kind of the measures I've been, I've been asked to do by the government of Nepal, to be honest. <laughs> and another thing is in the photo exhibition section, we have 28 Irish tourists who visited Nepal after the earthquake. And you, have, you will see plenty of photographs they took and it's on display there. Please take a time and have go to uh, Kaoshed and have a look at the photographs. Um, so before uh, I continue, I would like to invite my team. I would like to introduce the committee members, the organizers. It's not only me, it's not only a few people. There is a whole battalion of people who made this today's historic event a very successful event. And hopefully, there won't be any rain. The rest assured it will be a very entertaining day today. So I would like to invite everybody from Nepal Island Society to the uh, stage. I do want to introduce everybody. So I'll start with our senior vice president uh, who was here just now. Okay, please take a seat, Jane. Is there? Yeah. So and our vice president, Jeevan Timilsina, and our chief treasurer, Mr. Pravin Mali. Sorry, uh, Prakash Mali. Uh, where is he? And joint treasurer Bal Krishna Shrestha. And we have um, so we have we have our culture coordinator Gerard McGranahan. Gerard. Yeah. So and we have our list of executive committee members. Chet Raj Oli. Chet Raj Oli is your own. No. Okay. So Declan Alcock. Ram Naren Paudel, Patrick O'Sullivan, Chris Avison, Neelan Prasapati, Mike Winterburn, Mahindra Jangrana, Vinita Sharma, and 
and John Corns. I think John is not here. So I would also like to uh, in invite our supporters who have been helping us all along for quite a few years now. Uh, I would like to invite Mr. Ganex Prasai and also Navras Koirela to the stage. So as you can see, it's the people here who made this event successful. So a round of applause for all these great dynamic people we have here. All right, um, so I have a couple of uh, people I would like to thank, basically. So I would like to thank Dublin Lord Bear for kindly accepting our invitation today. And I know you have a limited time, so we'll try to make it faster. We have a hurling match as well, I think. Right? <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks, Dublin Lord Mayor. And we would like to uh, thank our acting ambassador, uh, so who has come all the way from London to participate in this event. And Nepal Embassy is the organizer and Nepal Tourism Board, as well as the organizer, along with Nepal Island Society, of today's Nepal Island Day. Uh, I would li like to thank Dave Levins and all his staff here and the OPW uh, Office of Public Works in Family. They have been tremendous in helping us. I would like to thank them, the, all the staff here. Uh, I would like to thank uh, South Dublin County Council, Dublin City Council for their help, the financial help, as well as supporting us in every programs that we have done so far. I would like to thank Amber Costello and Joe Costello. So they are the like. They, they have been there for since the start of Nepal and Society. So they haven't missed any program. So at least 90%. So excellent. Thank you very much for supporting us and your continued support. Uh, I would like to thank Brian O'Brien as well for coming here. And also Kul Acharya. Uh, he has come all the way from UK. And, and also we have, uh, along with Nepal Island Society, we have NRN. It's a sister organization of Nepal Island Society. And we have a team here who helped us in putting this together. So I would like to mention their names here. Rajan Kafle here, Achyut Gairi. I just want them to just raise their hand. Where is Achyut? Is he around? OK, Achyut is at the back. And Deepak Bora, he is here as well. OK, he is there too. And Om Adhikari. Uh, Om, Om is there. Okay, excellent. Dev Guru. Uh, okay, Dev is there. All right. So, and the entire NRN team, and also like to thank Pralad Bosnit. And I would like to give uh, offer a special thanks to Prasaya Neopane. I'm not sure where, where is he. Uh, is Prasaya around? So, Prasaya put together all the culture program today. She is basically director of today's culture program. So, round of applause for Prasaya. So uh, I would uh, like to thank ICT Business School and Chiton Samas, uh, the team here who has been volunteering us to make uh, make sure that we have everything in proper place. And also I would like to thank Everest Group guys. Uh, we have uh, Ashok there and Mukunda as well. They are the very dy dynamic guys and helping us all the way through. So the, just to give you a quick uh, overview of what we do, so we have been working mainly on the strengthening Nepal Island relationship. We have a Nepal Island Alliance, uh, uh, a group that we formed recently. It's an umbrella organization of all the NGOs and different organizations who have been working in Nepal. And also we work closely with Nepal Embassy in organizing different activities. Thanks everyone. Thanks a lot for coming along today. I would like to welcome everybody again and hopefully you'll enjoy the weather and the event today. Thanks a lot. Basically, Limerick Nepalese Association, Jun Ireland ko or ko yuta mukhya sahar Limerick ma roheka Nepali harulai ekata badda garna kriyasil samsta. Tiska President Michael Thapaju wahalai pani hami eti bela samjhna chahanchu. Basically, Vivek Sab ko ta Chitwan Samaj ka representative wahalai pani hami samjhna chaheka sun. Uh, Tere dhir dhane baat sa waharu sabelai. Thank you very much. So you've already experienced